Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Either way, thanks for clicking and watching. Today I'm gonna to be um, memory planning for the week of August 10th in my Medium Vertical Recollections Planner. And um, this is the kit by Dash of Sun, sorry, by Sadie Stickers. Um, so if you'd like to see me, go ahead and um, plan this week, like pre-plan it, um, then I will have that video linked down below or it'll pop up in the cards um, so that you can check it out. And, um, no, wait, this is Dash of Sun. My bad. I don't know why I said Sadie stickers. Anyways, y'all. So I'm going to be just memory planning for this week. And this week I was out of town. So that's why this video is up later than normal. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, starting on Monday, um, I did, um, purchase the Giving Girls Advent Calendar. So super exciting. I don't know if she still has it on sale, but definitely make sure you go and purchase that if you want. So I'm going to use the half box from the kit and then a couple of little dots from the Giving Girl, because of course, how appropriate. Um, and I super regretted not getting her advent calendar from 2018. And then in 2019, she didn't do one. So it was really sad. And so now she's doing one and is like, I'm not going to miss it this time. Cause I saw the unboxing from 2018 and it was gorgeous. Um, so for sure, go and get that if you want to get it, if she still has it. Um, and for my gratitude Monday, I just read, I was grateful for that first giving girl calendar. It's actually my first advent purchase for this year. So pretty exciting. So then on Tuesday, I am taking one of these, um, what are they like? It's like a floral divider, I think is what it's called from, um, letters to Apollo. And I forgot I need to be writing these things down. So that way I don't have to go through and figure them out later. Anyways. So I'm taking that just because I had it, um, a little space there. I needed to like take up some room. Um, so that's just to look pretty. Then I'm going to take a flag from the kit and, um, figure out how I want to position this, um, with a like sports bra, this little cute, um, clear sports bra sticker from the given girl, along with some of her, some more of her dots. I love her dots, her little transparent dots. Um, and I'm just going to also use some like little tiny stars, little dainty kiss cut star decorations from the given girl as well. Just to write in there that I did my morning yoga. I mean, which I do every day, but like I've said before, if I kind of didn't had kind of an uneventful day and I don't really have anything to mark then I'll just go ahead and mark like mundane stuff, you know, that I do every day just, you know, cause I'd rather put something pretty than just leave a white space. So I did my yoga. And then since we were leaving for Utah this week, um, we did have to do like a little bit of like just prep work in the kitchen to make sure, um, nothing was going to go bad. So I'm going to take like a, I think this is like a third box. <sighs> Sorry, trying to stifle my yawns again. I'm taking a third box from the kit. I'm just going to write that I uh, kind of prepped and froze a bunch of veggies, like fruits and veggies that we had just kind of lying around, whatever I could, like just freeze. Like um, we had onions and bell peppers and um, what else did we have? Yeah, just stuff like that. I'm going to take a little ampersand from Rose Color Days because I like her cute little ampersands. Um just to mark that. And then I'm going to take one of these really cute boxes that I got from a water, a simply watercolor co sampler. Um, and it's got like the faux washi strips on both sides. I think that's really cute. <laughs> and, um, and then a divider from the giving girl bow divider in between those. And then I'm going to take a heart book icon from simply gilded just to mark that my husband and I read together. So we read five chapters on Tuesday because we read the same book from the same series so that we can just kind of, you know, it's fun to like read with somebody and discuss it. You know, I guess it's like book club sort of, but just between like me and my husband. So I don't know. Um, and then for Tuesday's gratitude, I wrote that I was grateful for creating space since I've been kind of having that yoga mentality of creating space. It's been nice. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to take some check marks from the giving girl just to mark those little things that I did on Wednesday. And there was no space cause it was jam packed in there. Uh, because Wednesday was the day that we were about to, the day before we left, um, for our trip. So it was pretty jam packed. Um, I wrote for my gratitude, I arrived safely, but I, I had the, I had Wednesday and Thursday mixed up. So sorry, that was supposed to be when, um, Thursday's gratitude. Um, so anyways, for Thursday, so Thursday was the day we were driving to Utah and, um, I'm just going to check off the bills that I needed to pay. I did, I did an X on Weight Watchers because I actually earned a free month from somebody who subscribed or joined like using my referral code. So whoever you are, thank you. <laughs> um, I got a free month for that. I hope it works out for you. Like it did for me. I'm still on my journey, of course, but it did, you know, I did lose 50 pounds. So still trying to lose more. I need, um, I think 20, 15 to 20 more pounds to go. So anyways, though, um, besides that, I checked off the bills that we paid. 
Then I'm going to take one of these cute like arrow layering things in the kit and then a post carrier, postal carrier truck from um, Crafts by Towie because we had to go to the post office before I left in the morning. So just to drop off some things. So we had to run to the post office. Um, and then we also got some donuts on the way because it was kind of our breakfast and they were like super good. They're our favorite place to get donuts. And surprisingly, they have a ton of vegan donuts. Um, my husband and I discovered Ronald's donuts um, when we went vegan a few years ago. And while we're not vegan anymore, they still have like the best donuts. They're so good. Anyways, so for Thursday Gratitude, I wrote Ronald's, um, which again, these were supposed to be... I think that I arrived safely was Thursday, but then I didn't actually put something else for Wednesday. So I was going to just put arrive safely. I don't know. I ended up mixing those up or something. I was grateful for arriving safely to Utah and for the donuts. <laughs> um, for Friday, I'm going to take a half box from the kit and then write in Hamilton since we watched Hamilton with my family, my husband's family. Um, I'm just going to use some pretty like stars and stuff to spruce it up because I love Hamilton. I don't know. Um, if it's, I would say it's my favorite musical, it's definitely up there with Chicago. The, I've never seen the original Chicago, I've only seen the remake with Renee Zellweger and Catherine Zeta-Jones. And that's definitely always been my favorite musical, but like <sighs> Hamilton's so good now. So I don't know if it's number one or number two. I think I have to rewatch Chicago and like put them back to back. I don't know. They're just both my favorite. So anyways, we watched it with the family because nobody had seen it except for my husband and I, and everybody loved it. Um, well, except my mother-in-law, she didn't watch it cause she doesn't like musicals. I don't know. Um, but everybody else loved it. So, and then we ended up listening to the Hamilton soundtrack, like the whole entire rest of the week that we were at my sister-in-law's house. It was funny. Um, anyways, we also played this new game called the mind. It was an early, um, birthday gift for my son. And I used just a flag from the kit for that. It's a really fun game. Um, it's kind of like, if you read the instructions you, to me, like I was like, I don't get it. But then I watched like a how to play thing on YouTube. And so that like seeing people play, I was like, Oh, okay. And then once you get the hang of it, it's quite fun. Um, also I worked my way from down to bottom from, or sorry, from bottom to top because I wanted to make sure I had room for Hamilton. So that's not the first thing we did. That's what we did at night. But during the day, um, we had to go to Smith's. Um, so I'm using a Dasha Sun Designs grocery cart. Um, that's a little cart you can get on my freebie, which I showed, um, with Dasha Sun, you just put Lisa 10 in the notes to see, or in the code, the code is Lisa 10 so you can save and then you get my freebie. We had to go to Smith's because, you know, we're going to be at my in-laws house for a week. So, um, <clears throat> we need to get some groceries and then, um, I'm using a packages icon from cozy paper co, which is another shop that I PR for. And that code is also Lisa 10 and a couple of dots, transparent dots from the giving roll. Cause again, I just love those and I just sprinkle them everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to take, by the way, did I mention the donut sticker was Wildsmore designs? I don't think I did. That was Wildsmore designs. And also the tea bag is Wildsmore designs. It's another shop that I PR for. Um, so for her, you can use the code Lisa 40 to save 40%. Or if you join our Facebook group, there's a 50% off code there. So I always recommend just go join the group and get the 50% off code. And then if you put Lisa in there, she'll get my freebie. So super excited because I got my new phone, my new iPhone 11 Pro Max. And the tea bag is there because my mother-in-law spilled tea all over my new phone. Like I had only had it for a couple of hours and we were eating dinner and it was on the table and she like grabbed her cup and like spilled it all over me and, the, and my phone but it's fine. Luckily, you know, iPhones are water resistant. So, but it was still like hilarious. It's like, I've been waiting for this. So you don't, you don't know how much of a fiasco it was getting my phone. Everybody else got their phones right away when we all upgraded at the same time. And it, mine took forever and it was such a hassle. But anyways, it was like, Oh, finally got it. And then it's like, great. Spilled tea all over it. <laughs> so it was funny. Um, anyways, Saturday was my mother-in-law's birthday. And so, um, she had an edible arrangements delivery. So I actually took it's a, it's like a flat lay from Wild Summer Designs, but I wanted the fruit bowl. Um, it's like a fruit salad and I thought that'd be perfect because I didn't have any other like fruit. So, um, I just marked that, um, with the little, I just cut it out of the flat lay and I used like a scallop corner from the kit. I love those are so pretty. Um, and that was really tasty. Somebody like one of her friends or something had the edible arrangements sent to her for her birthday, which that was really nice. And she shared with all of us. So that was cool too. Um, then for dinner, she wanted to go to a restaurant um, called Maddox. So I'm using a fork and knife um, from Dasha Sun Designs. Again, that's another shop I pair for. And um, we got some shrimp steaks. Those were really good. Never had something like that before, but they were pretty good. So um, that's what we got for dinner. We also watched some TV and played some games. So I'm going to take this quarter box from the kit. And we watched um, Umbrella Academy with my family, um, you know, after my son went to bed. I wanted to use this um, 
tan colored umbrella because it matches the kit, but I just couldn't. I was like, I gotta use a black one because you know, the logo is always a black umbrella. And let me check who that's from really quick because I got that the that sheet as a gift. Hang on. Okay, so that is a sheet from Pink Sunshine Designs. Um, and my husband and I have already finished the Umbrella Academy, but my in-laws have not. So we just decided like, you know, rewatch it with them. It's a really good series. Um, this season two was like so good, like better than season one, in my opinion. I loved it. I can't wait for season three. Um, anyways, so we watched the Umbrella Academy with them. Um, and then we had a little game night as well. So I'm using a um, flag from the kit and then a switch icon from Wild Summer Designs. Again, code is in my bio. And then a game night script from Cozy Paper Co. Again, at least the time to save. And we played um, Mario Kart Monopoly. So, I mean, the switch is kind of irrelevant because it was a board game. <laughs> um, but, you know, Mario Kart. So I put the switch. I don't know. I didn't have like a board game sticker and I figured like a switch icon would be cute anyway because they did play a bunch on the switch while we were there. So whatever. Um, and for my gratitude for Saturday, I wrote that it's grateful for the weather because it was just so beautiful in Utah. It was warm still. Don't get me wrong. I think it was like 95, 99, 100. It was kind of, it was pretty hot, but it was still so nice. And like when the breeze hit you, it was like, nice it wasn't like it didn't feel like a hair dryer like in vegas we have that dry heat and it feels like when you open an oven and you get that whoosh of heat in your face ugh, and it feels terrible but in utah the weather was so nice so it was still warm but like you know if you're in the shade and the breeze hit you it was like ah oh, like refreshing oh i felt so good anyways so sunday we did a river walk um so i'm using this beautiful like fun size box from crafts by towie and then a run nike shoe icon from sweet bella xo um, which, you know, we didn't run, but like, I don't know. I wanted to use a shoe and I do have black Nikes like that. So I thought it'd be cute. And I just wrote river walk. So whatever. Um, I'm just going to decorate that with some more like stars from the giving girl. And it was such a peaceful, I love those like streams. It wasn't like a full blown huge river or anything. It was like a little stream, like a little brook next to a, like this dinosaur park. Um, cause my sister-in-law lives really close to the great salt lake so there's some, a lot of rivers and stuff around there and it was just so peaceful one of my favorite things is like a babbling brook where you know when the water you have that like kind of stream and it makes that blah, 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 kind of babbling <laughs> i don't know how to describe it just look it up like um babbling brook that's what i look up whenever i meditate it sounds so peaceful either babbling brook or rain i love those sounds anyways though so walking next to that river just kind of taking a little hike it was like so serene i kind of wished my family wasn't there so i could just kind of like sit down next to the water and like video record it and like just stick my feet in the water and relax and you know feel the energy of the, the rushing water it was so peaceful but we did a nice little walk there and it was nice so after our walk we um got some tacos so i'm using a third box from the kit and then this little taco doodle from wild Summer designs and we went to a place called Taqueria Los Avo, uh, what was it called? Los, I can't read my own dang handwriting. Agaves, that's it, Los Agaves. <laughs> Anyways, and um, just got some tacos for lunch. And then we watched a couple of things. So I'm taking a uh, popcorn icon. I believe this is like from an older like sheet or something that I had, I think from Cozy Paper Co. Anyways, and then some little transparent dots from the game girl. So we watched The Black Cauldron with my son and then for like after he went to bed we watched train to busan which is really cool it's actually like a korean movie and it's all subtitled which isn't usually my favorite thing i don't like love subtitles but like it was like a really good movie um so i recommend it if you don't mind the subtitles the only, i mean i don't mind it like i can keep up but it's like i don't know i just prefer to like just watch the movie i don't really want to read you know when i'm watching something if i wanted to read i'd read a book when i do read books i read like two to three books at a time but it's like it's okay, you know, if that's the only option, then, you know, I'll watch animes with subtitles or Trinity Busan movies and stuff like that, you know, but it was a really good movie. I liked it a lot. Anyways, and then that was it for this week. My gratitude, of course, was that river because I just I loved it. So peaceful. And then I just filled in my checklist with some stuff that we did throughout the week. Um, and then, yeah, that's a recap of everything for last week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy because it, it really helps me out. Um, definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss more of my videos since I do upload regularly. And leave me a comment if you want to know where I got anything. All the shop links are down below. But if you have a question or if you just want to say hi, and I'll say hi back because I respond to all of my comments. I hope that y'all take care. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.